Welcome to Colmar Creations. My name is Bart, and this is the cutting board video. I decided to build my first cutting board as a Christmas present for Samantha's mom. I wanted to incorporate some walnut that came from her backyard just to make it a little bit more personal. I started off by removing the bark off the logs with a chisel and hammer so that I can start milling it down to size. As you can see, there was a lot of chiseling. I had to screw the log to the sled I made just to kind of keep it in position as I cut it down. I ran it through my saw and then realized my blade was not tall enough, so I just had to go in with a handsaw and just take away the rest of the material. For this project, I used the walnut from her backyard, which turned out to be figured, which was awesome. Some maple, paduk, and some black walnut that I had laying around from previous projects. After squaring off the sides, I was able to cut all the pieces on my table saw to dimension. At this point, I didn't really know what kind of design I wanted to make, but I figured simplicity was going to be the driving factor. The layout was a lot harder than I thought it would be. I kept struggling between, do I do walnut on the outside, do I do maple on the outside? going back and forth, back and forth, but at the end of the day, I think I came up with a pretty cool design. The glue up was fairly simple using Type Bond 3, and the best part of it is, I got to use some really old clamps that I got from a garage sale. Love old stuff. Here I'm just applying the glue and spreading it with a plastic roller, making sure that I get each piece fully covered. Last thing I want this cutting board to do is come apart during Thanksgiving dinner. That would be embarrassing. There are those old clamps. I think they're Georgies, I'm not sure. But I got them at a garage sale and I think I paid five bucks for the pair never know what you're going to find at a garage sale. Good find. I used double-sided tape to secure it to some plywood and shimmed it from going anywhere. This worked out well and eventually I was able to get both sides parallel. I sent it through the planer probably a dozen times until the face of the board was nice and flat. Then I was able to flip it and mirror the other side. Someone get fuzzies on them? Thor. Thor loves being in a shop, always by my side. I probably should have connected the dust collection system to the planer so that he wouldn't get all those shavings on him. To be honest with you, I didn't even know he was there until I was done. And it was kind of funny, so there you go. A little bit more planing, it was ready for sanding. Lots and lots of sanding. I started off with 120 grit and worked my way up to 1,000. Might be a little overkill, but I wanted this thing to be as smooth as possible. I laid out the finger inserts and used the router to hog out some material. Then I used the 1 8 OG bit to go over the edges just to make it look a little bit cooler. I had a lot of fun with that router. For some reason, every time I use that tool, it makes me feel like Tim the Toolman Taylor. Roar! Did I just roar? Yup. Do it again too. Roar! Some final hand sanding, we're ready for the finish. I just used the regular old cutting board oil that I got from my local hardwood store. At the end of the day, I was super happy with the results and I think Joe loved it too. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe and thumbs up button so I can keep putting these videos out. 
Love the process, and I love sharing my experience with you. Thanks for watching.